Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video, and today we have another episode of the Bro 2 Court. This is going to be episode number 6. Today is the day after, or today, 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 to wait, today's, tomorrow's Thursday. Okay, this is going to be Friday's video. I'm really confused right now, but this is going to be Friday's video. I already competed in the tournament that you guys saw me, like, post about yesterday. I don't know how I did, because right now I'm recording this on Wednesday, because I'm not going to have time on Thursday to make a video for Friday, because because I will get home really late and I'm probably gonna have to do homework get ready for school the next day and go to sleep early so uh, yeah I kind of just uh uh, recorded some gameplay for you guys in my squad battles games for today. I did build a new squad. I did buy Roberto Firmino, who was 18,000 coins. I got him on a snipe, uh, kind of uh, not really a snipe, but he was up uh, for the cheapest, and I did pick him up for 18,000 coins. It was very nice, a very nice pickup, and he did prove, prove, prove to be a great player in my opinion. Got a couple of assists in the first uh, like three games, and in the last game he really showed up and shined and showed us why he is a great player. Look at this goal by Cristiano. Okay, that's a great uh, like cut in by. Should have gotten that ball. I should have gotten that rebound with Barkley, and then Messi gets a BS goal. <laughs> Excuse me, and my left back didn't do anything. Uh, so yeah, I don't think that should have been a goal. I think Bai should have gotten the ball. Cristiano somehow got it back twice. Barkley doesn't win the header. And Messi just taps it in, which is what just really aids goal. Nothing I could do about that, to be honest, man. Uh, but Barkley plays it down here to the right-hand side. Musa does receive the ball eventually. Barkley once again. Barkley with some nice skill moves. Does see a run. Does try and get it back. Does Sanchez get it back? And Musa uh, does slot it into the right-hand corner. Back to goal, but still finesses it in. And we do go up 2-1 against the legendary AI. The legendary AI has been more difficult as I've started playing it, man. I don't know what it is, but I can't get used to it all i'm doing now is being uh, very possessive possession based and being kind of like playing really slow and playing my game and letting them come to me that's how i've kind of switched my game style uh on uh, legendary ai but apart from that i've kept my same uh, play style um recently and i i it's going well i mean i won this game 2-1 i do, do get some decent points i think i get how much do i get here i get about 1820 so that's kind of bad when you think about it of course we didn't keep a clean sheet we didn't score five goals which is the best you can get i think the most you can get is 2800 uh, points which was obviously what we're aiming for we got a thousand under i don't i'm not too sure why but uh you know you gotta uh, whatever happens happens we come up against iniesta guy tom perez teo uh savage vallejo costa that cam that's a uh, turkish uh really a right back who i don't know of and a decent team man it's it's pretty sweaty pretty sweaty la liga team and i'm tell oh my god are you serious okay give me a sec okay so i i really hope this isn't delayed all right so uh we're right here we steal the ball with uh van uh patrick van Anhol. barkley is going to find uh emery chan emery chan to barkley once again they play like a little nice uh game in, in between them there and then uh, i think lucy gets the goal here i'm not too sure let's see what oh no look at this goal this is a nasty goal by renato sanchez bar down on geronimo ruli and renato sanchez does get his first goal for the club with an absolute banger from outside the box and yeah man that goal was just incredible ronaldo sanchez has turned out to be one of my favorite players in this game so far uh in the midfield uh next to emre chan emre chan is a good uh, at at de uh, defending and tackling so is ronaldo sanchez but ronaldo sanchez is just a player that is just completely different he's so so good in game and i just love him i love playing with him i love how he feels on the ball i love his strength his speed his tackling his intercepting all that man he's so so good and i could definitely see him staying in the team for a while uh, another player i can see staying in the team is Eric Bailly, Serge Aurier, and Patrick Van Anhol. I don't think they're problems at all. I do, look at that. That goal is unstoppable, by the way. Like, the AI just kind of had to cheat there, get themselves a goal. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of annoying how I actually did concede that. But um, I need a center back partner for Bailly. I was thinking of uh, Virgil van Dijk, and I've been looking at him, and he is most likely going to be our next signing uh, for the team. I'm not going to get a goalkeeper just because I only keep keepers I want to play with is Courtois De Gea, and I'm not willing to spend that much on a goalkeeper right now. Um, 
Obviously, I want that center back Van Dyke, who's around 23,000 coins. This guy scores a ridiculous goal, puts him up 2-1. Uh, not this guy, the AI uh, goes up 2-1 before the half. But I want to get a center back par partner for Bay. I like my left back, my right back, and uh, the goalkeeper I'm just going to keep as Carnezes, most likely. He's been pretty decent, uh, pulls off some uh, crazy saves here and there, but still. Uh, most of all the goal or most or all the goalkeepers in this game aren't very good as Barkley does score a long shot there uh, My center midfielders are probably gonna be I'm probably gonna keep in Diddy to be honest and Diddy's incredible I'm gonna keep him for the first foot champs games. Um, I love him in game. He's so so good I don't know There's something just about him. That's that's just so good in my opinion He's a new Conte. I might do a video on him over the weekend on how he is the new Conte um, Of course player of the month money should come out today one to watch card should come out today and player prices should have dropped today as well great finish from Roberto, Roberto Firmino getting his first goal for the club and putting up three to two but yeah player prices should have dropped today so hopefully you guys sold your players before um, a lot of people were expecting this to happen one because the game releases two one to watch cards release and three player of the month does release so there's going to be a lot of market fluctuation and that is why you should sell your low rated cards and that is what I'm going to do um, and then buy my cards back um, probably over the weekend sometime probably Saturday or Friday even Friday because there's going to be great deals and you want to invest for the next weekend league, of course, because a lot of people are going to want overpowered players for the next weekend league. So I'm thinking of picking up like a couple Joshua Kings, maybe Jack Boatland, uh, right backs or left backs with a lot of pace in the Premier League. All, the, all, all those are going to sell. Um, so yeah, um, Matteo Darmian, by the way, I just saw him on the screen. He's been incredible. For some reason, he's really, really, really good with the five-star weak foot, man. Um, who else is in our midfield? Let's keep talking about our team. Uh, Emre Chan is incredible. Still as good as he was last year. Um, in my opinion, I don't see a difference in him. Uh, still, uh, like, just... Uh, that, that goal is annoying, by the way. Um, still pretty fast. Height is incredible. Physical and defending is incredible for Emre Chan for a center midfielder. His shooting is uh, it's not going to be incredible, of course, but I think it's still pretty decent. It could be much, much worse. And if I do find the target myself, he will find the target himself as well. That's what I uh, have seen that he does. Uh, MH has been decent. Who are we playing? I can't. We're playing a uh, Ross the Boss Barkley, who has been very, very good so far. 1 1. Roberto Firmino does uh, equalize in the 10th minute. But Barkley has been incredible with the 5 star weak foot. I think he has 4 star skills. Um, but yeah, he's been very good at Cam. Uh, way better than Rooney for some reason. I thought Rooney was going to be great. And I thought Rooney was great on the demo, I think, or beta, my bad, on the FIFA 18 beta. But he got downgraded since. And yet, yeah, Roberto Firmino does get his brace right here. Number 17. Uh, 14 minutes later, does put us up 2 1. And does help us take the lead nice over the top through ball from Barkley to moves outside and Firmino does finish it in and tucks it into the bottom right hand corner uh, very very nice from Firmino our two strikers have been Musa and Firmino of course uh, Musa is great I love his four star skills I love the pace I love the aids that he creates it's just fun to play with him and he's still amazing as ever in my opinion, Roberto Firmino does get his hat trick in the 84th minute, and he does seal us the win against the legendary AI. And yeah, man, Musa, is, Musa has been great in Roberto Firmino. When you give him space, uh, I think he's still as good, probably if, if not better uh, than he was last year. He's so, so good on the ball. Great finishing, great player. And in my opinion, you guys should go, should go pick him up on Friday or today, uh, since his price should be down to probably 14,000, 13,000 coins, as he is 18,000 coins at this moment in time. When I do make the video so hope you guys did enjoy this video leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hopefully i did win the the tournament yesterday you know that'd be cool that'd be cool because i'll be like i'll be here tomorrow and be like oh i won i'm so cool yeah woo but i don't know if that's gonna happen or not man i'm just gonna try my best and see how it goes i hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice day